Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Sorry. Wait, wait, what? What was that? I... Wait, why did the light just go out? Okay, 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 okay. I'm a ghost hunter. This is my job. Welcome back to Delfino Isle News. A breaking story has just emerged on a Minecraft noob who apparently went to adventure on in a recreation world of Serena Beach Hotel from Super Mario Sunshine. Some footage of this Minecraft noob taken moments before he disappeared has recently surfaced. Though viewer beware, the content is pretty graphic. Before that footage is shown though, we actually managed to contact the creator of this map, a handsome and awesome YouTuber who goes by the name of YoMikester238, over to Village Number 9, who is Mikester Live on an interview with a few questions. Thank you, other newscaster man. Hello, yo, Mikester238. Hello, so glad to be here. So glad to have you. So, yo, Mikester238, investigations are ongoing for this Minecraft noob who has disappeared. With you designing this build, is there any information you can give that might shed some truth as to what happened with this Minecraft noob? I say noob many times because he is a noob. Oh, uh, um, yeah, about that. That was actually me. Come again. Please tell me that didn't just stay alive. No, no station uh, 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 they lost uh, like screaming. <laughs> yep. Uh, I, uh... <laughs> I lost a Twinkie. Wait, are you too? Anyways, since you asked though, let me talk about the process that went behind recreating Serena Beach in Minecraft. Much like the first few builds I've done in the past, Gelato Beach, Rico Harbor, and Delfino Plaza. The way I first started with creating Serena Beach was to lay out the foundation of the land. For those of you who haven't seen the island from Delfino Isle, it's actually shaped to look like a dolphin. So with that in mind, I started off this recreation by building up a frame that would match the shape of this map I had found. just the line template in place, which that took literally hours. I had the island actually starting to look like what the dolphin is meant to be, but I actually also found something by accident that absolutely caught me off guard in the midst of creating this. With this project having taken as long as it has, there's definitely some builds and ideas I've forgotten about that I tinkered with before. One of those long ago ideas I actually ended up finding here. Stick to the end of this interview to find out what was inside. But with that little discovery found, it was time to fertilize the land and chisel the cliff faces into something a bit more fun to look at. And here it was, the beginning of the fourth main location in the Super Mario Sunshine world. Though it wasn't much to look at, this start had me extremely excited knowing how the previous three builds had already turned out. I knew in my heart of hearts that Serena Beach was going to look incredible. And with that passion coursing through me, I decided it was time to crack on with the actual build. Having used loads of references I had found online, grainy footage I'd somehow discovered on YouTube, and lots and lots and lots of error and trial, here was the exterior of Serena Beach. Using the implementation of some new updated 1.20 blocks, I managed to achieve some crazy awesome builds, like these ripe green palm trees that had been specifically used in the Serena Beach level. Using a gradient of blocks made of bamboo, stripped bamboo, sponge, wet sponge, and other bamboo variants was how I was able to achieve this feat. And aside from the occasional drip particle effects, I was really happy with this result. On top of that, I found a few other ways to implement other 1.20 blocks into this build like using these cherry trap doors as almost dessert looking items, using bamboo on top of hay bales to create a thatched roof of sorts, and of course, the trees. With this all done, it was time to start on the interior because after all, most of the Serena Beach world took place indoors. With this being my first interior design of the entire build series, I was nervous but excited.
was. The interior complete. This interior, while extraordinarily fun to design, was an absolute pain. As a kid, when I used to play Sunshine on my GameCube, I'd always hated this world and never really understood why. Well, 16 years later, I finally got it. Man, that makes me sound old. While detail-wise, this map is absolutely gorgeous, I had totally forgotten about all the secret entryways and just secrets in general. Things like being able to go in this door, but not this one, and things like, oh, actually, this painting leads to a secret room. And don't even get me started on the secret entrance, boo, closet door thingy. And all of this annoyance came back when I had to recreate all of these interiors. Nintendo, I know you love making obnoxious maze-like ghost levels, but this, this Serena Beach is on another level. Anyways, when I'd finally finished the interior, it was time to create all the secret entrances, and a lot more went into this than I had originally thought would. At first, the idea of even finding all these paths really stressed me out, but I found this incredible, amazing, absolutely beautiful post written by Starfighters76 in 2006 on the site Game FAQs. Starfighters, I owe you my absolute thanks. If you somehow find this video, you are incredible. <laughs> this guide showcased a map indicating how each floor connected to each floor. It showed which doors Mario could open and couldn't. And it even showed me where the boos would spawn in. From here, now that I had the build finished, I would take the placement of the map, go to the room I needed to make a pathway in, and I'd find YouTube footage on what the pathway, what that connection looked like. And then to hide the secret entrances, I would either use the MC map item tool to create custom maps that looked like blocks in order to hide the entrances, or I would think of other creative solutions, using trapdoors and paintings to hide them instead. From there, adding a little parkour to make some of these spots accessible was the next step to take place, since unfortunately, I didn't have Flood to give me a boost. Was I, um, assist, um, No. The interior to Hotel Delfino was now finished, except for one doorway that loomed ominously in the hotel, begging me to recreate it. Boo's Casino. After a bit of building, this was by far my favorite part of recreating Serena Beach. With custom plastic trees, showy bright red curtains, and legitimate actual slot machines. I honestly had to check myself when creating this because I hadn't realized Nintendo had put legitimate slot machines and gambling into a kid's game. But they had. Wild times, man. But yeah, the room looked incredible, especially the ceiling of a star shine that I installed. This ceiling took loads of work to pull off, but in the end, the result was absolutely amazing and worth it. With the flashy colors and the bling all around, I was in love with this section of Serena Beach. But this was actually the entire map done. And since you stick around, you're finally going to get to see what's in this room, right? No, wrong. With the map done, there were still a few features I had to create to make this functional. To start off, I first had to actually make all of the Serena Beach areas accessible by linking these doorways using particle effects to signify they were doors. And much like Rico Harbor and Gelato Beach, I also had to link Serena Beach to the main map of Delfino Isle. And this was done a little differently than my typical custom texture particle portal. Instead, since you access Serena Beach through a pipe, I had to create a pipe transition effect so that when you went in, it looked like you were actually going through a pipe and coming out on the other end. This took a few more command blocks, but after the transition was perfected and the particles were added, I absolutely love this teleportation system. After this had all been done, there were a few little quality of life features I added as well. I say a little, but the third one is kind of crazy. <laughs> one of the features was making the time of the day change when going to Serena Beach because the original map had an orange unsettling color to it. This made the map look a million and ten times better. And another little thing was changing this command block here that had these effects like resistance and whatnot to be infinite rather than a timer that counted down since 1.19 had updated some commands. But my final quality of life feature I wanted to add was custom music. Oh, we're the Mario Brothers! Through the process of editing this video towards the end, I thought of this great idea. Why don't I create a custom resource pack that plays corresponding music to corresponding worlds? I'm not sure how I hadn't thought of this before, but it was a great idea, and, and with that in mind, I began the creation of this feature. I also included the ability to be able to turn off and on the music in case you were a psychopath and didn't want to play it, but having this constantly playing in the background was amazing. Yeah, yeah, I, I 
I could definitely get used to this. This is great. With these features added, making this world feel a bit more alive and incredible, Serena Beach had come to a glorious finish. And with everything in place, it was time to finally show you guys what was in this tunnel. Oh, oh, I've been so excited for this this entire time. Oh, wait, you're, you're still watching, Mr. Villager? Of course. This is the best day at work I've ever had. Hey, careful there, buddy. I gave you this job. Sorry. All right, so what was inside? What? Come on, come on, just say it. It was an original test build of what these sewers almost looked like. With a dank, creepy interior, I thought it could have been a cool idea to have, although in the end, I settled with this decision that you might have seen previously before instead. Wow, it's a good thing you did, but still, Extra sneak peek content is to die for. I'm, I'm so glad to hear it. But yeah, uh, that's that's all I had to say about the build process. And um, <laughs> well, for the missing noob, I, I guess case closed. An amazing story and a beautiful ending. Who would have thought it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have today. Keep a lookout for this wonderful creation to continue being built by the talented one and only Yo Mikester 238 And with that said, enjoy life, enjoy Minecraft. Mikester will see you in the next one. And ciao.